Uh, all right. So we have uh, today's moderator is Dr. Lee. We are painting as one of our panelists. Dr. Ashish Mittal is there. We have uh, Karina, and she is the keynote speaker today. I believe uh, Charu is busy trying to admit everybody. We have uh, uh, Nadeshda, and she is here uh, to be another panelist. And we move on. Uh, some uh, technical, uh, you know, challenges there, but not to worry. We are on the toes. And yes, we go ahead. Maybe she needed to rejoin, and there we are. Uh, let me talk about the partners who are there. Uh, I think Sharda, ma'am, if you can start admitting everybody, and Charu, kindly be free from this responsibility. Sharda, Amandeep. Balpreet, sir, all of you kindly started with me. Uh, yes, Charu. Good evening, Paramgit, ma'am. Good evening, Charu, ma'am. Good evening, all. Good evening. We are in the midst of the presentation, please. Uh, uh, glitch here. Challenging, challenging, but it doesn't deter our uh, enthusiasm, you know? That's it. Please, please mute yourself, everybody, but for the presenter who's speaking. Uh, Charu, if you have some issues. No, there it is. Uh, uh, we can always... Uh, Go for presentation. Do you want me to share the screen or do you want Amandeep sir to share the screen? But I think you'll manage it. Let's go ahead. I'm glad. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Rise of SDGs project is an international project and our partners of this project are UNODC, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, SDG Chopal, and Smart Sustain is a media partner, and so is Next Schools. Uh, this project is facilitated by Ms. Rita Singh, along with me, Director Indrapuram Group of Institution, and Ms. Bushra Anas Nakvi, Principal Lysim School from Pakistan. Uh, yes. Duration of this project is eight months. Begins, it began in January, goes up till August. Uh, this webinar is sharp 60 minutes, though we have wasted a few minutes. Virtual meetings are every second and fourth Friday. And we have today, we have six panelists, one moderator, one keynote speaker. And of course, the agenda is always SDG goals. Uh, the second Friday, the, the fourth Friday this February, we are going to talk about quality education. And on 12th March, we are going to talk about gender equality, the next two goals lined up for us. Uh, please mute yourselves. Let me introduce you to the moderator of the day. Uh, Dr. Lee Saw is from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, chemistry teacher for good 31 years. MOE Malaysia is an iconic teacher, edufluencer as role model teacher Malaysia, global teacher Wadi 2019, Best science teacher in Southeast Asia, MI expert, vice president Malaysian STEM Teacher Association 2018 till date, and master trainer EDIDIK. Yes. The keynote speaker of the day is Miss uh, Karina Shushita. And she's from Romania. Welcome, uh, Karina. She has a good experience of 24 years. European projects, Erasmus, and coordinator e twining projects. Uh, international is. Innovation. Please oh, meet yourself, you? my dear uh, attendees. Thank you so much for doing so. And then we have, she has got an, an international award for um, innovation, teachers 2015 country director and eco training center Sweden. Committee member, EduClouds UK and World Book of Records, co-founder Worldwide Green Project, founder International Cultural Passport. Thank you, Karina, for being with us. 
Uh, we also have our English uh, teacher, and she is Miss Pain Chin Kongpet, all the way from Thailand, and MIE and MIE Master Trainer 2021 teaches English using SDGs since a couple of years and love to encourage students to make the world a better place for next generation. Thank you, Pain Chin, for joining us today. The next panelist is very much uh, from India, Dr. Ashish Mittal, Headmaster, Indirapuram Public School, Delhi. Regional Mentor of Change, uh, aimed by uh, Niti Ayo, Government of India, MI Expert 2021 Mathematics Guest fe uh, Faculty, research paper presented and published at number of national and international conferences recognized by Sri Ram College for Com of Commerce, Delhi University, in organizing an international conference. Welcome, Ashish, Dr. Ashish. And the next panelist is uh, Nadezda Ivanova from Russia. Thank you so much, Nadezda, for joining us. She is MI expert, MI master trainer, student voice ambassador, wakelet ambassador, Bansi ambassador. Thank you for being with us all the way from Russia. And then we have Mr. Balpreet Singh. Uh, he's from Kamla Nehru Public School, Punjab, and he's going to walk us through the newsletter uh, the, uh, today. And he's an IP educator, MI expert, Adobe certified educator. Yes, please. And we have a very important panelist from India, Ms. Kavita Sangvi, principal, CNM School, Mumbai, India. Masters in Physics and Education, Masters in Philosophy of Education, CAEL Diploma from Harvard University. Amongst top 50 teachers by Varke Foundation, Varke Teacher Ambassador, Teach SDGs Ambassador, Scientific Ambassador for India, Certified National Geographic Educator, Global Teacher Accreditation by British Council in 2014, British Council Co-Skill Trainer and Ambassador. Welcome, Kavita. And then we have a very young panelist here with 25 years of experience, and she's an English language and literature educator, Swati Bakshi, and she's the founder of Fanlish Kolkata, India. And founder director, Tulip Dale, a nonprofit school for underprivileged children and Fanlish, a language school, author and resource person, English language test papers, Macmillan Education, heading an online youth magazine. Yes, please. With this, I would now like to invite the moderator, Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee, it's all over to you now. The floor is yours. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, good evening, everyone from all over the world. I'm Dr. Lee So Im from Malaysia. Thank you for giving me this opportunity as a moderator in this wonderful collaborative project. On 1st January 26, 2016, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals SDGs of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted by World Leader, World Leader in September 2015 at the Holistic United Summit officially came into force. For sustainable development to be achieved, it is crucial to harmonize three core elements, which is, which are economic growth, social inclusion, and also environmental protection. So today, our SDG Goals project, our collaborative project will be Goal 3, Good Health and Well-Being. Without delay, Please welcome our keynote speakers, Ms. Corina Sujats from Romedia, to deliver her sharing. Ms. Corina, your, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, my colleague, my friend, uh, uh, Lisao. I am happy to be here to, today with you. I am Corina Shuzda from Romania, and today I will speak to you about goal number three, good health and well-being. If I can uh, share my screen, please, because we'll be... Uh, easy for me. Uh, we follow the system. Yes. Uh, we Thank follow you. it like this only. Please go ahead. You can always say when to move. Charu, please continue. We follow the norms.
Karina, you continue, yes. please. Yes, I will share my screen. Okay. So today we'll speak about uh, sustainable development goals and uh, goal number three, good health and well-being. I am Corina Shuzda and I live in Romania. Can you see my uh, presentation? Go ahead. No, okay. continue. This is the final day. Please. Yes, yes. We okay, can. Hide. Thank you. Yes, yes, we can see you. Goal number three, good health and well-being. Ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. The UNA explains, significant strides have been made in increasing life expectancy and reducing some of the common killers responsible for child and of course for maternal mortality. Major progress has also been made on increasing access to clean water and sanitation, reducing malaria, tuberculosis, polio and the spread of HIV AIDS. However, many more efforts are needed to control a wide range of diseases and address many different persistent and emerging health issues. I will talk to you today about uh, targets of uh, goal number three. So, reduce maternal mortality and all preventable deaths under five years of age, five communicable diseases, reduce mortality from non-communicable diseases, and promote mental health, of course. Prevent and treat substance abuse. And more targets of goal number three. Reduce road injuries and deaths. Universal access to sexual and reproductive care, family planning and education. Achieve universal health coverage. Reduce illness and deaths from hazardous chemicals and pollution. And uh, let's have a look at these numbers. 1.7 million people became newly infected with HIV in 2019. 38 million people globally were living with HIV in 2019. 25.1 million people were accessing antiretroviral therapy in 2019. Also, 75.7 .7 million people have become infected with HIV since the start of the epidemic. And of course, 32.7 million people have died from AIDS related illness since the start of epidemic. And at least uh, 690,000 people died from AIDS related illness in 2019. It's uh, true, these numbers, of course, make us to be worried about this. So let's uh, make a difference, let's get involved and let's do something. What can we do? Together, we can ensure healthy lives and well-being. Here, you can see, see what you can do to contribute. Find organization to support, information to share, and some useful tips for your everyday life can really make a difference. For example, eat healthy, get regular exercise, of course, lose weight if you are overweight, like me, for example, <laughs> protect your skin, don't smoke or use tobacco, limit how much, how much alcohol you drink. And of course, there are more, more steps we can do for these. Thank you very much for uh, paying attention to my presentation. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Dr. Lee, you're muted. Yeah.
Hi everyone. I'm Penzan Kumpet from Thailand. I'm an English teacher, an MIE expert, an MIE trainer 2020 to 2021. Oh my Hello? <laughs> yes, we can you hear will... you, Lee. Uh, pension continue. Uh, you will move a slide for me, right, ma'am? <laughs> okay. Um, my school from Thailand is a high school. We are the rural area school, which including 1,000 students and 60 teachers in a poor community. So we consider the goal number three about the healthy of student and mental health. So before we make our world a better place, we should start from balancing our body and our mind, and we can spread our love to others even our world. Next, please. Our school have the celibate to improve student body and mind, which uh, beside from the core curriculum from the government, we adding some subject and some practice to student. Next. Next slide, please. And with support from the community, we was helped by the parents. Our community, including uh, policemen, nurse, doctor, engineer, and every kind of career. So every parent is our community and everyone helps their children in our school. With the support of the community, the student can be a good at sport, not even a champion of volleyball. They are champion of football and futsal and other kind of sport too. That is the product of our healthy uh, education. Next, please. And every morning we bring the temple nearby our community to teach about the meditation. Uh, every morning, only five to ten min minutes before study, and everybody can peace their mind and focus on study and education. And we do it every day. Beside of that, we have a Boy Scout lesson to practice the life skill and volunteer spirit hour that they help teacher clean their uh, school and then clean their house, their home, and even their community, the temple, hospital, police station. Next, please. And uh, we connected to the public health officer to come to school and teach them about drug, about sexual, about how to take care of themselves to make a good health in even the mental. When they have a problem, they can uh, consult and um, ask the doctor of the community. And we connect with the police too, to check up and uh, give them uh, education about the law not only the traffic law, uh, even the all of law in the community that students should concern. Next, please. Uh, in this photograph, they are checking the motorcycle engine and check out the, the noise. And with the King project of our school, we have a botanical garden that help uh, mental of the student to uh, see the beautiful and make our world a 
uh, oxygen with the botanical and many plant of tree. And we have an art gallery to my school, uh, which students can uh, improving their mental health by art. Many kind of art they, they make here, even music, but I only show you only one picture. And this is our school story from Thailand. Thank you. Hello, dear educators. I am Nadezhda Ivanova, an English teacher and MIE expert from Russia. And I'm, I work at secondary school number five in a big, in a huge city of Krasnoyarsk. Our school uh, is three level. That is, we have primary school uh, from grades one to four, uh, junior school from grades five to nine, and high school from grades 10, 11. And uh, our school health program, program is uh, all age groups oriented. So in sport clubs and uh, PE classes, students uh, take part in various physical activities and play various sport games. So medical examinations are held uh, annually to test students' um, health conditions and um, vaccinate them against uh, viruses. So psychological service provides uh, assistance to families uh, and students to solve their uh, mental and social issues. So life safety classes uh, are organized to um, instruct students on uh, different regulations and rules as far as public transport uh, and uh, so and um, other places are concerned. School safety, uh, life safety is in focus. So and special attention is paid to school uh, to school children's health and well-being during the school summer camp when students spend the whole month on the school ground. Please, next slide. So uh, during the school summer camp in June, students from grade one to 10 uh, attend the uh, class uh, gr camp groups to, uh, in, to be engaged in various open air activities and play sports. They also love uh, special classes with uh, uh, psychologists to uh, resolve conflicts and build team skills. Uh, they also love different creative and STEM activities to develop their skills. Next, please. Throughout the year, uh, senior students and um, the staff uh, organize various competitions to team uh, to to develop team spirits among the students and to build their health and focus on the healthy lifestyle. So. Next, please. And uh, there are special uh, activities, actions, uh, which are arranged throughout the week. For example, uh, during the Healthy Lifestyle Week, students uh, presented their ways of staying safe during the school day. So they organized music and activity breaks. They um, practiced uh, gratitude through giving through paying compliments to each other. And they had a special place, the health wall, to express their attitude to healthy lifestyle. Thank you, next please. And uh, the say no to smoking action was a hit. So senior students organized a flash mob in the community to encourage grown-ups uh, give up smoking uh, they <clears throat> raised, uh, they uh, tried to raise their awareness uh, against uh, bad habits and uh, they motivated uh, the passerbys to exchange uh, cigarettes for uh, yogurt or fruits. Next, please. So a special, uh, a special uh, place in the school health program uh, was occupied by the two-year uh, preparation for the winter university uh, because uh, our school team volunteered for the project uh, 50 countries 50 schools and uh, students uh, <clears throat> participated in meetings with famous sportsmen 
they mm, prepared for uh, the university. They did some quests, and during the university, we supported uh, the uh, sportsmen from Portugal. So we also had sports classes in uh, different uh, age groups to promote uh, sports, health, and well-being among the students. So the Russian people say, "Здоровье не купишь, здоровье дороже денег." So you, uh, health is above wealth. The English say. So that is why, uh, besides the curriculum, health program uh, and well-being are very important in our school. Thank you for listening. Thank you. So next, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you. Very inspiring, Very inspiring Thank you. Lee, unmute yourself. We can't hear you. <clears throat> okay, so now um, the next uh, in line, uh, yes, Lee, would you please continue? Mr. Ashish, be ready, please. We now welcome Dr. Ashish for uh, taking us to a virtual art gallery. Over to Dr. Ashish. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for providing me this opportunity to provide, uh, to uh, showcase the artwork of the students across the world. So please allow me to share my screen so that I'll be able to present the work done by the students, not only India, rather across the world. So, ma'am, could you please confirm that my screen is visible to you? Yes. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you so and much. So, too. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. So I am just going to take you to a tour of the art gallery where we will see the work done by the schools across the globe. However, I would like to uh, just uh, quote here the very nice saying by the keynote speaker, uh, Ms. Corina, that we have made a great progress against several leading causes of death and disease. So life expectancy as per the statistics has increased dramatically. So uh, uh, I'm just going to showcase the artwork of the students according um, uh, as per SDG3 for good health and well-being. So this is a this is a uh, just a starting what I feel and you will be feeling very happy when you will be seeing the artwork. So I'm just presenting the work firstly by Bal Bharti Public School Dwarka India. So uh, it is a kind of a reflection of the school how how good they are actually progressing about that. And um, this is a this, these are these works will actually reflect how good they are doing and their mentors how nicely they are mentoring the students. You will be rea you will be realizing soon after seeing these kinds of artwork that the students whatever they are doing in the schools that clearly reflects that they actually understand the need of the sustainable development goals and they actually understand how important it is to achieve by 2030. So I'm really amazed. I'm really delighted to present the work of all the students across the globe. You can see the work of different schools in the from public school crossing the public. So there are so many schools. I was surprised when I received hundreds of entries. You will be surprised to hear hundreds of entries. So I'm presenting the work of Indra from public school, Indra from. So there are a lot of entries, hundreds of entries we have already received across the globe. This is a this is a this is a creation of the students by Radiant International School Patna. So uh, it is a, it is a kind of reflection. I am I, I have been iterating my words that these are the reflections for how good we are doing, not only in India but across the globe, across the world. So you will be soon. Um, looking at the artwork, looking at the work, what uh, the students across the world in different countries they are doing. So this is the artwork of Sit Andra, Anandram Jaipuri from India. So I give my heartiest congratulations to all such students who are presenting very nicely and immensely. As this is again a work of Sit Anandram Jaipuri India. There are so many artwork presented by them for that particular activity or for a sustainable development goal three. So this is a Kamdanahiru Public Schools artwork you can see on the screen. There are a lot of artwork 
what their students are doing and they have already showcased they have already shared their artwork with us again this is this is a kamlanar public school there are so many artwork that we have received and i could collate so many artwork on this in the in the form of this art gallery so i'm really very glad very happy and very proud to see how enthusiasm our students how and to um, like uh, they are so eager they are so keen to uh, showcase their thought process behind the behind the sustainable development goals so i i'm pretty sure in uh, this is again a work of kps fagbara school we uh, there are so many artwork what i i could uh, uh, receive so this is this is a, this is a, this is an artwork of sk st patrick tawau from malaysia so that is what i was telling you that this was not only a work of the particular uh, country so we have received so many entries across the globe there are so many work i think uh, um, half of the work i had received from different parts of the uh, world so malaysia I, i just want to give up huge credit to the specific country malaysia they have sent a, a number of entries and the kind of work what they are doing in their school is praiseworthy amazing amazing so polak central school vishakhapatnam from india once again so i can see the lot of efforts what their students are doing what their mentors are doing it is a kind of a reflection what we are using in our in our systems in our schools to just sensitize our students how important these sustainable goals are for our for our future i because i i think these they, they, these kids are the just um, not only the future leaders but i think they are the future community so uh, again this is a work uh, art gallery for uh, the school sk sunway tuang malaysia so uh, uh, i think you all can also smell that how good how wonderful work the work art work um, and the entire work is being done because it is a just a just a just a imagination how good they are doing so rajkumar from uh, rajkumar smk goa again from malaysia how brilliantly they are putting their thoughts into the form of art work so i am i am i am really pleased to uh, myself be here to present you the work of um, the students across the globe and at the end of this journey i would like to just say that let's join our hands to achieve these sustainable development goals because in case we are together we stand together we are always stronger together so thank you so much thank you so much uh, ali for giving me this opportunity to present the artwork of the students across the globe over to you ali thank you yes okay i'm very excited about the virtual gallery walk shown earlier by thank you dr ashe and i see just i saw just now get a lot of uh, participation from malaysia from tawal from johor a proud of the malaysia students and teachers many activities about go tree had been carried out out uh, in school especially exposed to young learners i believe they apply the values learned in their their lives we have many schools and students around the world participate in our program to show their understanding and practice uh, sdg goals number 3 so next we will invite mr pabrit singh very creative art gallery ma'am beautiful sir very creative we now have miss kavita over to kavita please so greetings from cnm school mumbai and i'm really pleased to meet all of y'all so cnm school we have more than 3000 students and health is very very important to all of us so if you go to the next slide we make sure that here when we talk about well being there are three important domains the physical the social and the psychological so in the physical domain it's very very important that we see that our students and teachers are taken care of next slide please so in the physical part we have tied up with the hospital across who comes twice a year to check our students physical well being so they may monitor their health they give us reports which are then taken by the school teachers to the parents and consultation happens so a year long project is taken across next slide please so this is the entire graph that we have of the students across the years to know how they are developing next slide but it's not just the teachers students that we take care of it's even the teachers who are very very important so we have tied up with the hospital 
which comes once a year and tests our students. Entire medical reports are shared with us. And then we know that what are the strengths of the teachers and what the nature needs require requires across a whole year right. to be healthy. We also believe that the class four employees are equally important, and that is why we have a medical report of the class three or four employees also. Psychological well being is very, very paramount because they say a sound mind and a sound body. So for most of all, first we have counseling. We have counselors across the day because we function in two shifts. Medical guidance is given across because students in fifth standard, when they have to discuss about the menstrual cycle or when they're growing up, they have concerns, then obviously medical guidance, guidance is given to them. Also for the teachers, if they're nearing menopause, then we have made sure that we have given medical guidance to them. Once a week, we have value education for our students where any theme is taken across and students and teachers discuss. For students of 9 to 12, we have a mentor mentee program where one teacher will mentor eight students across a year. And that mentoring could be for anything apart from academics. It could even be a simple argument with a friend and I could take it to my teacher and could cry in front of my teacher and be stress free. We've also had a tie up with Val Ed initiatives. Now they come up across to our school and then give, give guest lectures. They talk to the students as per the need. For example, last year we had topics on cyberbullying because that was a key concern. Then we have guest speakers coming in as an across, which is very, very important when they talk to our parents, our tutor teachers, our students. So psychological well-being is very, very important. Next slide, please. Now, very important is that you have cleanliness across because that also affects you psychologically. If you know that you have a clean bathroom, you, you feel good about to go to it. So you make sure that there's reports on school cleanliness. There's reports on the water purity. Next slide, please. So all these are major reports and we have external people come in and check across to ensure to make the parents feel very relaxed that the child is taken care of. And finally, we have the social well-being because we as human beings are social animals. We need to have the communication, the collaboration to feel good about ourselves. So at across the year, we have a lot of events like the annual day, sports day, MUN, STEM magic, you name it and we have it because we believe that a lot of students need to come together. Moreover, this year, we have tied up with a village at Vikramgarh where are students interacting with students of that small village? And they're talking about sharing of sanitary napkins, which is so vital. So we have a long way to go, but we are very, very happy that we have made progress and we are on our way. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lee. Very enlightening, Kavita. Maybe Lee is not able to connect. We now have Mr. Balpreet. Yes, sir. Please start, Mr. Balpreet. Please start. Yes, yeah, sorry, ma'am. My, my mic was muted. So yes, hello everyone. Good evening. It's an honor for me and a pride moment for me to share newsletter edition three for supporting. Sustainable Development Goal Number Three, that, that is Good Health and Wellbeing. So over 300 artworks, poetries, articles, 
activities and videos has been shared by different schools from all over the world. So lots of thanks to all the contributors. So now let's have a look at the work of all the schools. Here we go. There are three sections for this newsletter. First is students voice. Second is art section where students have shared their paintings and third is stories and poetry section. So first we start with students voice section where students from different schools prepared short 30 seconds video with Flipgrid on any of the following questions. The questions were how acts of kindness make everybody feel good and leads to our well-being. Next was whom do you feel grateful to for the good health you are blessed with? And third question was being kind to others is good for our health. How do you practice kindness? So here is the QR code available for Flipgrid video gallery and some links are also given to watch students video. So next section is art based awareness where students from all across the globe has painted for good health and well being kindness and goal number three. They showcase their talent by creating beautiful artworks here is the work done by Kamala Nehru Public School India. A young artist has made beautiful paintings. Then we have Seth Anandram Japuria School, UP India, then SJKT Trolak Perak Malaysia, SK Bandarputra Johor Malaysia, Delhi Public School, Ghaziabad India, Bal Bharti School, Dwarka Delhi. Then we have beautiful artwork from SK Segamat Baru Johor Malaysia, SK Sungai, Tuang Melaka, Malaysia, Sushila Billa Girls School, very beautiful artwork. And also some artwork came from SK St. Patrick, Tawau, Sabah, Malaysia. So on the same line, secondary school number five, Krasnoyask, Russia has shared awesome artwork. And STS World School, Rajgomal, India, SK Gemera, Malaysia. Then Golden Gate, Golden Gate Global School, Uttar Pradesh, India, and Pollux Intelli School, Andhra Pradesh. They have arranged inaugural function supporting sustainable development goal number three. So great work has been done by Pollux Intelli School. Then Rotary Public School, Gurugram, India has shared school story that is depicting the real real time action on sustainable development goal number three. They have shared their beautiful artworks from the students. Then artwork came from SMK Gwar, Chempedak, Kedaha, Malaysia. And last but not the least, artwork has also came from DLF Public School, Sahibabad, India. And then we have Indirapuram Public School, Delhi. They celebrated good health and well being week to reinforce the value and importance of the same. And then we have Weizmann Schools, Israel, where sixth grade students planned and led a five color meal as an expression and applicable to what they had learned. Then we have secondary school number five, Kranuyask, Russia. They have celebrated Healthy Lifestyle Week to support sustainable development goal number three. Then some activities has been shared by Sushila Birla's girls schools. Kol uh, school Kolkata, India. They have shared the activity to enhance your immunity with Dadi Mark and Nuske. And students has also shared recipe for the same. And they have also shared one beautiful activity that is I fight against coronavirus. Then one beautiful story that has been shared by Madam Nirmala Devi Kandasami from SK St. Patrick, Tawau, Sabah, Malaysia. Then under the stories section again, we have many stories came. From Funlish SDG goalkeepers, Kamala Nehru Public School. And Pollux Intelli Schools, school, uh, Pollux Intelli School, Andhra Pradesh, India has shared five, five stories. From the school, uh, from the students of grade seven and grade eight, very beautiful stories they have written. And the last, at the last, we have Goat 
some poems from different schools. That is SK Tiara, Parmai Kuala Lumpur, Seth Anandram Jaipuria School, Delhi Public School, and Kamla Nehru Public School. So that's all. Now, now I request you to please participate for the next featured SDG goal number four, that is quality education. You can share your work on the given wakelet link and don't forget to mention your student's name and school's name and you can join the movement using the profile tags and hashtags on the social media while sharing your project related to sustainable development goals. For any queries, you can send any message on the given emails and here is the QR code available for the tour of virtual art gallery. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening and paying attention. Thank you so much. Yeah, wonderful and great work from students all over the world to promote SDG goal number three. Hopefully, this partnership can provide input and encouragement to all. Thank you, Mr. Bhavanjit Singh. Now, la last but not least, we are going to hear school again, another school story from Miss Sawati from India. The floor is yours. Thank you so much, ma'am. Um, for such a sweet introduction. And uh, hello, everybody, a very warm hello. I just want to express my heartfelt gratitude for being given this platform to share the story of my school before such phenomenal and illustrious educators, not just from my own country, but from all over the world. Thank you so much. So today, instead of me speaking, let me allow this little kitty to share a ditty with you. The ditty of how a teacher became an educator, shaped, guided, molded, and inspired by the Sustainable Development Goals. Over two decades back, there came into being a school that dared to put fun into learning. Next, please. The founder was young, but ablaze with a vision to instill joy in life into education. Can I have the, her pupils, she read it to live lives of worth, design daily lessons to make a better earth. Little did she know then of development goals, she was just playing an educator's role. Then came the day when world leaders met and 17 goals before us they set. The teacher by now, armed with 500 strong, was ever so thrilled that her path wasn't wrong. 17 like-minded, she picked out of them. Funlish goalkeepers, yay, we now have a name. Through simple but focused steps every day, we try to bring change in the world where we stay. Now time had come to go on a spree of working with passion on SDG 3. Pain of loneliness, we started to feel. Sickness of mind, we wanted to heal. Partnered with experts who conducted sessions and guided goalkeepers on handling depression. Care for the old, our focus now was. Making them happy became our cause. From spending some time to read out newspaper, making some tea or measure blood pressure. These are now goalkeepers, target and goal. Care for the aged, their body and soul. Not just at home, but in neighborhood too. We try to resolve all mental issues. Creatures in distress too, the goalkeepers serve. Human and animal deserve equal love. 
connect with nature to us experts said the soil under feet and the sun overhead this too will ensure well being overall not just of body but mind and the soul last but not least we are building a chain of more kind people to join our train we share with each other healthy practices followed at home or other known places emulate those we in part or in whole this way we rise up for the third global goal thank you so much for listening to my school story i'm really grateful thank you everyone another very interesting yeah another very interesting school story is carried out by the educators hopefully the participants all the participants can use the example shares in the respective their in respective uh, institution ensuring healthy lives and promoting the well-being for all at all age ages is essential to sustainable development sustainable development calls for constant efforts towards buildings and inclusive sustainable and resilient future for people and planet let's put our hand together for our, to our today's all the presenters yeah so we hope that the story the newsletter and the, the tips that shared by our keynote speaker will benefit all the participants before we end our session i would like to invite our honorable madam paramjit to continue <laughs> ma'am you are please thank you lee you are fantastic i take this opportunity to thank uh, all the attendees the wonderful wonderful attendees we were more than 226 today and then we are live on facebook also uh, together for sdgs we are stronger thank you so much all the participants thank you to the panelists thank you to the keynote speaker and thank you to the moderator before we leave i would request uh, now uh, before i request bushra to talk about tweet meet uh i would like to request everybody all participants to please fill the ms form so that you may be given your participation certificates we inviting speakers for the sdg goal number 4 also and uh, the link link of the newsletter would be shared in the whatsapp group also in the chat box and the link of the art gallery is also there this is a small initiative and we can make it a memorable journey of sdgs if all of us join together Thank you sweethearts thank you wonderful people from India and from around the world Bushra dear can you please let us know about the tweet meet we could do it in 60 minutes that's what's important yes, yes ma'am thank you i i'll be thank you very much charu presentation uh, is very nice so thanks uh, to you paramjit and all the panelists who are the clever people who are the genius people who are really uh, very good uh, guidelines very good uh, uh, introductions very good informations so many things they have given thank you thank you very much thank you god's grace we together stronger yep i believe yes, yes, we want the last yeah. slide do you think yes i want the last slide ma'am yes say it uh, okay there she is yeah. so by uh, yes uh, so this is uh, about all tweet meet and uh, if we just uh, learn to write this uh, hashtag rise up for sdgs we rise up for sdgs uh, so here is a we uh, before rise up just learn it and use it with every tweet so as uh, with the previous uh, january's uh, tweet meet that after uh, the two webinars we hold a tweet meet on the twitter we set four to five questions and all the panelists and moderators of uh, the uh, these uh, two webinars they are requested to participate in particular and all the attendees i could see there were more than 200 uh, attendees rather more 26. than 220 attendees today so it's 226. a great initiative 
so we request you to please uh, in uh, your forms do mention about your twitter handle as well so that we can tag you over there and on every last day we will hold the tweet meet with four questions minimum maximum five questions where we will be discussing the uh, very months uh, to sdg so on 28th we will be working on sdg number 3 and 4 get ready be ready those who uh, you know participate in the in these two sessions that's really good those who do not get the chance they can always uh, have their say and thoughts Uh, sharing in the tweet meets if you have any query you can always write us and we are always available there on the twitter as well so do join us there and talk to us call us and we are always there to help you out so we rise by lifting others we rise up for sdgs thank you so much paramjeet ma'am <laughs> thank you bushra and now uh, this forum is this uh, open to all the participants and if you have anything to say we are there to answer we are there uh, together you know educators role beyond classroom is all sdgs thank you so much thank you very very much delighted honored humbled yeah thank you very much yes please go ahead anybody wants to sp- say something tell us how we can improve ourselves unmute yourself and speak yeah. uh, may i ask a question yes please I had a question for Swati ma'am. I saw youngsters being the part of a team. They, they. It was not the formal school setup the way we are used to, and wanted to know more about it and how she managed that. Uh, uh, ma'am, it's such a pleasure answering this question also. Ma'am, basically, I, what I try to do first and foremost is integrate the SDGs with the lessons, and parallelly, I talk to the parents. convincing them that you know their marks orientation it will be taken care of automatically if they give me a free hand to teach the way i feel and then what i do is exactly the way science teachers would uh, take the students to the laboratory since my area is only english literature and language that way i am limited also and i am unlimited also i can take my lessons way beyond the books you know and what i do is i make them actually go out to the field i pick one sdg like we are working on sdg 3 now some children are already working in this line and we are trying to influence everybody has taken up exactly like the t- each one teach one uh, thing we are trying to influence just one more person we'll add one more to the train every day that's the whole plan and the little things we are already doing we are bringing them to do exactly the same things and then ma'am we have started uh, that uh, sharing practice of those uh, good healthy practices you've seen some families uh, say that they still practice a thanksgiving every day before the meal some say at least thrice a week we do gardening and uh, these are all the families of the students who are coming to me and so or you know not even students even in the neighborhood people whom we do not know but like we are just inviting them in the residential complexes trying to get them uh, getting get them together every fortnight or once in a month and you know we talk about the best uh, practice which others can emulate too and in all of these whatever we do some way or the other i try to involve the students they become the main goal setters they become the trend setters they are working and they are inspiring their peers as well as the adults so that's the simple plan now great talia ji talia do you do your poetic prowess also we are all floored and uh, yes. i should say, must say about it it was really beautiful presentation kavita ma'am one ma'am. thing i must compliment you hardly any school things of the ladies working there reaching the menopausal age i think uh, this is the first time i heard a school doing something for that so that is uh, kudos to you too and uh, the art gallery and the malaysian tours were lovely thank you paramjit ma'am uh, so many vibes all the you know wifi blessings and good wishes are coming to you of course i'm going to be a part of this journey too yes yeah. yes that's it that's it that's it yeah that's great so thank you everyone uh, we can share our experiences anybody else want to say otherwise we have come to close of the session this is uh, uh, this is the informal gathering which is still going on Okay, ma'am. I Thank I would you. like. Thank you so to... much, ma'am. Sure, sure. Uh, I would like to end it. it. Uh...
with the note okay. uh, that it's for everyone those who participated today either through audience or by you know being panelists etc etc so the things you do are just like you very nice and special too so keep doing special things for everyone everywhere god bless you all thank you oh, thank, thank you ma'am those are lovely words yeah bye bye ma'am yes bye. ayappa you wanted to say something please go ahead Yes, um, yes, uh, yes. Is it possible I'm, 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 for you to share the uh, newsletter and this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll put the link. We'll put in the groups also, and I'll specifically put it for you also. All oh, right, we do you, it ma'am. every time. We have shared the newsletter for goal number one, for goal number two, and this newsletter also. Maybe by now it's already shared. Uh, okay, ma'am. Balpreet sir, please put it in the chat win window. Sharda, ma'am, please do it. Yeah. Yes, 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 ma'am. Ma ma yes, yes, ma uh, I, I am Ashraful Alam uh, from Bangladesh. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, 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 ma'am. I enjoy this session and increase my uh, knowledge uh, from each other. Uh, thank you uh, to all. Thank you so much. We're meeting for the second time, sir. Okay. Thank sir. you for okay, joining. Okay, okay. okay, thank you. I, I see some uh, hands raised also. If anybody would like to want to say something, please just unmute yourself and go ahead. Yes, Suman, Suman Yadev, sir, wants to say something. I am not able to see the uh, link where we have to write down the feedback and all. Okay, so please share it again. Uh, Sharda, ma'am, uh, Gurpreet, Amandeep, sir, please share it again. Where is the link, ma'am? Hi, it, it has to be in the chat window. Just see, let me see. It should be there. Chat window is not visible, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Neither the chat window is it. not there. No, no, you know, but sometimes it is the teams you have to update and then you see the chat window. It's only then you don't see, but now they've just added. Not to worry, we'll put it in the groups also. Um, Gurpreet uh, and